Hi everyone, so we are back in Kerbal Space Program 2 and uh, we learned a lot from our last sessions. Uh, we now have a mediocre space station in orbit around Kerbin. Uh, we do have a Kerbal trapped up there at the moment, but it does have docky ports, so we could fly a vessel up there and move the Kerbin over. Um, we don't actually need docking ports to do that, but um, I just think it's nice to be able to dock to the space station. So I think today, that's what we're going to try and do. We're going to keep it simple. We're going to try and rescue our Kerbin. We're going to create a vessel that can um, get up to the space station, intercept it, and uh, move the Kerbal across. And it'll be a good way to practice intercepting things as well. Uh, I'm just checking what vehicles we have in space. I keep getting that notification saying we're low on electricity. So station... Is this one, I believe? Oh, hello. Yeah. We also have GR11. Where is that? Down here. Uh, let's look at that. Is it a vehicle I never recovered? Oh, it's a rocket on another platform. Is there still a Kerbal in it? No. Okay, let's... Can we take off? No. Okay. We don't have a Kerbal. We don't have a remote control. So, recover this vessel. Confirm. So, let's just check we don't have any new missions, first of all. I don't think we do. Uh, no. So, a buoyancy test and moon or bust. Moon or bust, okay. So, we're not going to the moon quite yet. We will soon, I think. Uh, but we just want to practice intercepting satellites first. So, I don't think we have to do anything very complicated. We build... What was that? Oh, that was the... I want to delete these old workspaces that aren't named. I guess it auto-saves them or something? Okay. So we want a rocket. What's the difference between Orbiter 2 and Orbiter 2? I'll take the later version. We're going to start by loading our previous orbiter. Uh, I know we had some problems with the parachutes last time. I'm not really sure exactly why. I'll keep the science station because um, I feel like there is some good science we could do. Is this going to be enough? How much delta V do we have? 4,200 round trip to... It's a shame you can't put in curve in low orbit. So 3,400 curve in low orbit. We probably can if we fly smart. Oh, we do need... Um, a bit of monopropellant as well, actually, and a docking port. So let's let's be sensible and give ourselves a little bit more fuel. Um, okay, let's uh, let's use the bigger fuel tank we've unlocked now. Are those two the same size? No, they're not. really like boosters to be honest but it does seem to make sense to use them so our boosters fire first then we detach then we fire up that engine i'm going to put those into the same stage when i fire the engine and detach at the same time makes it simpler uh, we don't necessarily want to fire that engine when we detach there because we'll be in space at that point 
Okay, so now we need a little bit of maneuverability. So. We need another decoupler. And we want a monopropellant tank. I feel like just one tank is going to be enough. I'm tempted actually to have external tanks, but no. No, no, no. Not just yet. Uh, okay, and where is our cylinder engines? Where is it under utility? What fuel? That does use monofilament. Yes, it does. Okay, great. We're on four way symmetry. I think it's actually two way symmetry having four of them. So we've got monopropellant, we've got rocket. I would like a little bit more fuel in this. I might be going a little bit overboard here, but it just makes me feel better to know we've got plenty of Delta V. Okay, so we've got 4,500 Delta V. We've also got the monopropellant now to move around. Oh, we, we would like a docking port. More just to practice docking, really, more than anything. Um, should be the utilities, I think. Maybe not. Where is docking? Couple. Okay, makes sense. Ooh, that is bigger than I remember it being. Hmm. Um... The docking port could cause problems on re-entry, so maybe I just put it on the uh, on the fuel tank, and then I can just eject that on a collision course. So I think that's the plan. That's the play, I think. Right? Okay. We got symmetrical docking port there. Uh, we should have plenty of delta V, but it just makes me a bit nervous, you know. Also, how much? Um, thrust do we have? What's our thrust to weight ratio? 0.5. I think that's fine. If I take these off, it's barely very much at all. Uh, but that's fine. Let's save this as Orbiter 3. I know it's boring, but it helps keep things organized. And we'll have a GR5 Orbiter. I think we're going to move away from our GR series to something else. Uh, just to spice it up a bit, we need a new code name. So GR is Gold Rocket, which is kind of our vanilla brand. Um, but we could come up with some interesting rocket series if we chose to. All right, let's just save this and try it. Uh, save. Save. Okay, coupling is set up all correctly, I think. Okay. This thing. Launch. Here we go. So. Uh, here we go. Come on, Jebediah. I believe in you. We're going to start by tilting just slightly east, not too much. Um, I think when the boosters run out, we will start to tip further. I'd like to get it around the 80 degrees mark. Yeah, around about here would be good. And our, how are our boosters looking? Oh, my strong button. Oh, my stages are bugged, I think. Unless I... Yeah, I can only see my parachutes, which is concerning. We may have to restart this. Let's see if we can recover. Why can I only see my parachutes here on the right? Yeah, yeah, it's forgotten about wing stages, so we have to revert that launch. It's a shame, because that seemed like a pretty clean launch. 
So it thought the only stages I had were parachutes there. Maybe I pressed the wrong button? Or maybe it's a bug. I don't know. Have a look again. See what it looks like on the launch platform. Ah, the joys of early access, eh? Alright, I've got all my stages here. Um, it thinks... Oh! Why do I have that there? Okay, we need to do something about this, so... This decoupler, that was the problem. So the rocket wasn't actually attached to this at that point, it was just pushing it upwards. I'm surprised it didn't go flying off, to be honest. So that's my final stage, so I need to... It's not final actually, I need to put that. Yeah. Have I now got two decouplers? One there. Oh, one is before the monopropellant, one's after the monopropellant. Okay. Okay, we might not actually use those separately, but that's that's fine. There you go. Okay, let's try that. Off. Oh. I accidentally hit space twice. That was my mistake. That was just because I double tapped space. I mean, the first one was my mistake as well because my stage just went right, but the first mistake was more forgivable than the second mistake where I just hit space twice. <laughs> right. Let's sort out our staging. So we want another one there. We hit go. And we'll tilt ever so slightly eastward. Not by much at all. I'm spinning ever so slightly for some reason, but never mind. I'm going to try and stay on that line going east, and we're going to try and gradually get down to the 80 degree mark. Very, very slowly, very, very carefully, because this rocket could flip. I feel a lot better once the boosters are gone and the swivel can help us steer. Although it could still flip even after we get rid of the boosters. Uh, let's just get down to 80 degrees. And we're just going to try and establish an orbit to begin with. Yeah, I'm fighting quite hard to steer this thing. Just gonna try and look at that nap ball. Right, get rid of the boosters. And now we have the swivel engine. Nice. It's a lot easier to steer now. We're gonna look at our apparatus to get around uh, maybe the 70k mark, 60k before we go down to 90 degrees. Yeah, stay around 70 for now. I'm gonna try anyway. It is fighting me. And yeah, let's have a look, see what this does for us. Let's try and stick around to 70, get the SAS going. Gonna keep it here for a little bit and we are going to hope that we have enough fuel to get into orbit um, we do have a big tank on us two big tanks actually so hopefully we'll be okay we don't have a great thrust to weight ratio but i think it'll probably be enough oh let's turn the SAS off because it's now flipping us over slightly we need more height before we start going horizontal burns so stick around 70 i think and I think once we're in space, we have quite a lot of fuel for our Terrier engine. So, once we get our apparatus to 70 kilometers, I will feel a lot more confident. I might slowly start to go horizontal now. I've got half my fuel left. Um, yeah, let's do that. Let's do that, because we are pretty clear now. 40k. And this engine is better designed for atmosphere. Well, I think it does work well in space, but it's um, designed to flies in the atmosphere so let's let's use it while it's in the atmosphere then let's just take a quick look at the map okay yeah we, we do have a um, pretty healthy curve there so we'll get my apoapsis around 70 kilometers before I go fully horizontal I'm going to slowly drift towards the 90 degree mark yeah, we can start going that way. Our process is nearly at 70k, so we'll see. Okay. 
here we go, 75k, let's just drop down to 90 degrees now, it's pretty good, uh, maybe we need to wait till we're closer to the apoapsis, oh, that's our engine gone, let's um, get rid of that, and we are not yet in space, we are going to have to start burning though, because we're going to run out of time, so let's just full burn, 90 degrees, Maybe even slightly below 90. Let's just bring that periapsis up. We don't want our apoapsis to go up. We want to stick it around 80. I mean, I think the uh, space station's orbiting around 95 kilometers, so we've got a little wiggle room if we do go over, but that's fine. Um, I'm going to turn my engine off for a second, and I'm going to do a maneuver. And I want to... Oh, what am I doing? I'm using the wrong menu, uh, buttons. So I want to get it where perhaps the snap up to so about 90 degrees to what they are currently. Oh, not quite. Uh, there it is, okay. I think I need to stop burning now, to be honest. So I'm a bit worried. Yeah, we are approaching our purposes. Yeah, but whoa, why am I losing control, man? Why did that happen? I have no idea. Hmm, that was strange. we're pushing our purposes ahead of us. Uh, we are not. We have passed our apoapsis, which is a little bit scary. I think I did this wrong. Uh, I might have to revert this launch. Yeah, I shouldn't have stopped burning. I should have kept burning the whole way. We've used half our fuel. And... We might still recover this. I'm trying to push the apoapsis ahead of us so that we don't enter the atmosphere. Um, periapsis is increasing. Quite quickly. Could still be doable. Half our fuel now. Just need to get that periapsis above 70k, and we're safe. Here we go, apoapsis is climbing, that's good. That is good. Now, I don't know if we're going to have enough fuel to deorbit, to be honest. I think we can probably get the rendezvous. But I'm not sure if we'll be able to deorbit. Okay, let's let's bring this. We don't we don't need to keep increasing our preemptions. All right, perhaps this guys. Uh, we are past it though, so okay. Let's just. Oh, we are such an eccentric orbit. How have I managed to do this? I have no idea, but fine. fine, 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 fine. Let's just get us up above seventy k, and then we can work it out. I think I've screwed this up to be honest. Yeah, I need to. Burn this way. Oh, nope, that's the wrong way. Psh, this is going to be a revert because I've wasted so much fuel. Yeah, I, it's too late. I'm going to have to revert. Revert to launch. Uh, maybe we can just load, actually. We got an auto save. See how much fuel we had left at this auto save. Because I, I don't really want to do the whole launch again. The launch itself is fairly smooth. It's just I never should have stopped burning. I should have just kept going until we got that periapsis up. Instead, I waited to see what the curve looked like. Okay. 
Yeah, no, this is fine. This is a good point. Uh, so we just keep burning. Keep burning like this. Get that periapsis up. Take it to kilometers, and we will be good to go. The orbit's still going to be a little bit eccentric, but that's okay. It's going to be fairly easy to circular, I think, once we get to our periapsis. Oh, this might be too late, you know. Periapsis is climbing very slowly. Do you have to EVA anymore to do science? I don't think you do. Yeah, actually this is too late, because look at my orbit is insane right now. Uh, but maybe, you know, we could actually still use this to get a bit of deep space science done. <laughs> my hypothesis is now one kilometer. Because I'm in atmosphere, I think. Yeah. Okay, let's just revert to launch. And we have to remember to change our staging as well. And I need to look out for that science button. Whenever that button glows, I need to click it. I keep forgetting to do that. Okay, here we go again. Change our staging. Uh, we want it here. Thank you. We want to launch. Start to tip it over a little bit. Trying to get to that 80 degree mark very gradually. Oh, do we have fins on this aircraft? I don't know if we do. Oh, we needed fins when we had four boosters, didn't we? That was it. But with two, we didn't. Okay. Okay. Alright. Alright, apopsis is five kilometers. That's not high enough yet. So we're going to try and stick around this 80 mark. I'm just going to tap it very gradually to try and get us on that easterly line. Although it really doesn't want to turn. Right, get rid of the boosters, thank you. Now we have our swivel engine, now it's going to be very easy to turn. So, we want to actually start to turn now because our apopsis is climbing. Let's get to around 70 degrees, I think. Um, we have a fair amount of fuel, so we can burn, burn it in the atmosphere, it's fine. It would be nice to get higher because it is, we're getting a lot of air resistance at the moment. A little bit wasteful. Let's try and stick around this 70 mark. Get our apopsis higher. And I'm wondering now what I used to do in Cable Space Program 1 was I used to shut the engine off once my apopsis was high enough, and then once I entered space, I'd burn again. But I seem to not have enough time to do that. Um, I'm not sure if that's because I think it's because my thrust to weight ratio is pretty low. Um, but maybe it's something else. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, we shouldn't go down to the 50 degree mark, or the 45 degree mark just yet. We need a bit more height. Ah, oh, the rocket looks so much better without those boosters. The boosters annoy me. I don't mind it when it's like peripheral rockets, um, but just the boosters, they feel a bit, a bit weird, a bit cheap and tacky. Oh, we can do science. There we go. Got some science. Nice. Do I want to transmit it? Don't think so. I need to look up the mechanics for transmitting science in this game, though. It's probably different to KSP. What? Okay, let's go down to the 45 degree mark. I keep saying 90 because there's a big 90 there, but it's 45 degrees. It's 90 degrees um, is for the north, east, south, west, rather than the inclination. Okay, 70 kilometers. Let's just burn sideways. Come on, let's just do it. No guts, no glory. Okay, 
Okay, that's the second stage. Oh, sorry, the third stage. Uh, we are fine. We are pretty much in space. We're just going to keep burning. So we need to get our apoapsis up a little bit anyway. Uh, but most importantly, we need our periapsis to go up. Now, periapsis is not climbing very quickly. Uh, well, that's because we're not yet at our, at our apoapsis. Um, but I, I'm kind of okay with this. It's a little bit more high on the apoapsis anyway. Um, we've used about 10, 20% of our fuel. What is my thrust to weight ratio? Oh, I can't see from here. Okay, we're at about 70, 70% of our fuel, maybe closer to 60. And we still have a very low periapsis. Why? We are now in space. The Tayo engine is working hard, but it doesn't have a lot of thrust. I think that's my problem here. Mm. I'm carrying a fair bit of weight with the science station and the docking boards. And the uh, monopropellant tank. That could be it. I'm just going to check, see if I create a maneuver plan over here, how fast can I raise the perhaps It's much faster. But I want to just keep burning, so I was mostly last time was turning off the burning. I waited too long. Here we go, perhaps is rising now. We've still got a fair bit of fuel, just under half a tank, and the tank is a big one. So I think we'll be okay. Just have courage, keep burning, it's fine. Right. And let's establish orbit. There we go. We've got we have got orbit. Nice. So we can stop burning. Um, done some science, which is nice. Uh, let's look at the map. Let's delete this maneuver node. Um, and we need to intercept our other our, our space station. Oh, which is on the other side of the planet. So we if we stay at this lower orbit, we will be moving. Uh, slower, question mark, than them? Or we'll, we'll be orbiting, sorry, we'll be orbiting the planet faster than them, that's the best way to think about it. So, they are moving slower than us. I think that's relative to us, maybe. No, it's relative to the ground station. Okay, yeah, yeah, so, so there are, we're orbiting more times in a given no, amount of time, uh, which means we will slowly catch up with them. So, we could just time warp for a minute. We're not catching up very quickly, are we? I'm wondering, I could increase our roll a bit to slow down with them. That might be a better play. <clears throat> we are on the exact, almost the exact opposite side of the planet to them. <sighs> we don't have much fuel. I need to use this fuel to get into um, an intercept with them, and also to deorbit, get back to the planet. I didn't bring a second pod anyway. Hmm. Okay, maybe we build another ship with a second pod so the Kerbal can actually get in it. But we could do a remote controlled one. Oh, that would be interesting. Maybe we do that with one pod and a remote control. And um, more thrust, I think. Yeah, more thrust would be nice. Because this, this ship's getting quite fat now. Quite beefy. Do you want to test doing an intercept anyway? I think we're just going to see if we've got enough fuel to do an intercept with this ship. The way it is. Um, 
that's so far away. I want to decrease my apoapsis. Where am I on this thing? I'm at my parapsis now, I think. So if I just burn a little bit, let's get down to some. Okay. Okay, nice. So now it's 75k circular orbit. It's pretty well circularized. Um, there's not much different in our difference in our velocities here. There is not. Hmm. We need more fuel really to go out. Although you do increase your apoapsis um, exponentially, so it doesn't take that much fuel to get much higher. I mean, if I wait forever here, like past a bit of time, we will slowly gain on this guy, but it's pretty slow. I think the goal should be bring more thrust, a bit more fuel, go out at a higher orbit until we're closer to an intercept, and then move in. I think that's the play. Right, we are gaining on him. But it's not by much. I think I am. I'm just going to increase our apoapsis. Well, actually, we're at our, at our apoapsis. So first I'm going to increase our periapsis to maybe 125. Oh, but then we'll slow down again. We'll lose all the gaining we've done. Um, yeah, it's a bit unfortunate with the, the time we launched. So let's just do that. It's like 125. And then when it looks like we're getting low on fuel, I will... Start to deorbit. So that did not take much fuel at all. So let's just go to 150. Time up to just before our apoapsis. And now we're going to be orbiting with less frequency, so we should actually essentially slow down relative to um, the satellite. Now, this extra seven, 60 kilometers we've got on them might not actually be enough, but we'll see. We'll see what difference it makes. Okay, nice. So we're now going quite a lot slower than they are. Relative to the ground station. Let's just bring it right up. Go to 200. Got fuel. Mm, we've got enough fuel to do this, but we'll see. Bring our... Oh, hello. We do more experiments. That's nice. A bit more science, because we're at a slightly higher orbit, I guess. And let's bring our periapsis up again. 200k. Now we're a little bit low on fuel. Well, lowish. So we just need to be a bit careful now. Um, we're going a lot slower now than the satellite. So if I time warp a bit, it should start to catch up to us. Maybe. Let's be patient. Here we go. It's gaining on us. Get a little bit closer. Oh, okay. Now let's have a look at our maneuver. So if I bring my periapsis down, I can't set an intercept, I think. Oh, set target. I can. I can set target. Okay, that's interesting. Um, if I create a maneuver flank here. I wish I had a better way to control this rather than click on these things here with all these tabs in the way. There's got to be a better way for that, surely. Let's get rid of that for now. Oh. Thank you. Let's 
So what would that do? That would bring my parents in. How do I see what my new periapsis would be if I did that? I don't know. I don't know. Let's just get rid of some of these tabs and work out how. So that says 200 kilometers, right? I zoom right in here. So that's my own periapsis. I need to get to. I need to get to 95, right? I need to get that to 95. That's what I need to do. Okay. That's a nice intercept. How close can we get? That's. Pretty darn close. And we'll be going at the same speed at that point, so I don't want to waste a s slightly higher orbit than him so we can still catch up. Let's save here actually. First intercept. Save that. Okay. One billion, one billion. Yeah, that that's pretty good, I think. Let's get to there and then we can just burn for him. Orbit. Okay, let's let's just try it. Let's just try it. Turn SAS off until we get there. Let's warp to the maneuver. Uh, the good thing about KSP2 is these maneuvers don't assume instantaneous burns now, which is great because they used to do KSP1, which meant it would tell you to do stuff that you couldn't physically do because you didn't have the thrust to, to do everything instantaneously. And so now it actually think, works out how um, how long you have to burn for before and after the maneuver. 19 seconds and we start the burn 7 seconds so we got um, only 70 delta V required ok which is fine are we going to be able to deal a bit afterwards though I don't know here we go get ready 1 go oh, I timed that slightly wrong but it's fine We may have overshot it ever so slightly, but that's okay. I okay. I am on a target course now. Let's time warp over here. How much delta V do I have? Not a huge amount of delta V. I can see my target. I'm not at my clo closest point yet, but I want to burn for that. So we want to turn towards that. Just do we burn straight for it? Maybe. It's getting further away now. Um, so yeah, we want to burn for it. I think. Let's see how this goes. Oh. Is my target on the nav ball? Hopefully it is. Can't see on the nav ball though. Uh, and I'm turning the wrong way. <laughs> this is the thing about three dimensional. Oh no, my target is there. Okay, fine. Yeah, so it is on the nav ball. So I think we just go for it, man. I think I've done this wrong, to be honest. But we'll see. Time will tell. Time will tell.
So I'm now getting closer to it. But I need to match its velocity as well. So I can't just burn straight forward. I also need to match velocity. So we are getting closer. I am now also on a collision course for the planet. So I think I've probably done this wrong because I burned too long and my parapsis has got too low. Um, that's right, right, we all learn. I might have to revert to that save. Um, but let's see, you know? Let's see. Yeah, you see now how our orbit's uh, shorter than theirs? So if we were in a sacred orbit, we would be getting away from them. But because I've moved us out of a sacred orbit, we're not going away from them. I'm going to time warp a little bit in the hope that it gets close to us. Yeah, faster than... Uh, faster than we hit the Earth. And I'm going to burn up. I'm going to run out of fuel doing this, to be honest. Yeah, no chance. No chance. Uh, Let's let's re uh, do we want to reload the save? Because it did screw up our science last time. I think no. I think yes, yes, come on, we did the save for a reason. Let's load the intercept. I hope we haven't lost all of our science, which we might have done. Because the game's quite early access. Okay. So we have our maneuver node. Uh, we want to time warp to it, although I don't think it's set up quite right. I think. Orbit. So let's burn a quite. Let's not burn quite so much. Okay, let's be very careful. Okay, so that's now in a higher orbit there. Let's warp to the maneuver. Start the benzene to speed up time a little bit. I'm going to follow the dots. Dots are a little bit confusing because it's not when they all four are lit, it's when they turn green, I think. Should I leave that slightly late again? Uh, no, I think, I think we're okay. Alright, let's time off over here. Let's look for our target. We're going to SAS towards the target. Gold rocket station, 17.5 kilometers. Okay, that's good. Although... Um, let's delete my maneuver node. To go for a target. Okay. So we got a bit of fuel left. Let's see how this works. I should no, I don't want to go straight for the target. I want to burn sort of in front of it, I think. So I think I want to do. Oh, let me zoom right in. I want to burn sort of this way. Let's see, I'm very new to this now, so I haven't done this in many, many years. Let's just try this and see what happens. Oh, I think we should just burn towards the target, to be honest. Right, 17 kilometers. It is closing in. Is it closing in fast enough? So I've got to retain enough fuel to match its orbit and then deorbit. 
so. We might call this too much, we just not got quite enough fuel really for this trip. But hey, we got to within 10 kilometers of it, which is pretty good going. Um, we are already over there. So let's just try. This is silly, right? We're not going to catch it now. Yeah, we don't want to be Delta B. Let's just, um, let's call it there. Next time, a little bit more thrust, a little bit more fuel. Should be good to go. I don't even know if it's thrust that I'm lacking, to be honest. Because we just saw we can do quite a lot with the Terry Ranger once we're in space. Maybe we keep our... Um, other station for a bit longer. Uh, sorry, our, our, our earlier stage. Our swivel engine. Maybe that's we need to do. Um, what else? We put a bit more fuel in our swivel engine. That's one way. We could put an extra stage in it in total. Either another booster stage or even um, just have a second Terrier engine with a second fuel tank. That's That sounds silly to me. I'm tempted to get two more boosters. No, because we'd accelerate too quickly. I think I get two more swivels, and I replace the current swivel with the more efficient version that has slightly less thrust. I think that's the plan. That's what I did. Okay. All right, we're now entering atmosphere. Let's speed up a little bit, just till we get into atmosphere. Now we need to keep an eye on this. Slightly... Um, slight bit of fuel left, which maybe we will burn now, actually, and then we'll just jet. Bring our apoptosis right down, which means our speed reduces greatly. So our apoptosis is now soon going to be in atmosphere as well, so nice. Uh, we'll eject this because it's going to weigh too much for a safe landing. We do still have mono propellant. Maybe we just use that, right? We might as well use it up because we're going to jettison this as well. It's not going to survive real re-entry. Oh, not that. How do I just go forward? Um, how do I just go forward? That's tilting. How do I just... Let's just quickly look at the controls. Input. X and Z. Maybe? Is it that simple? That's rotating. And... J L I K. J L J L I K and N H. Uh, 
How do I move forward with SAS on? Okay, got destroyed anyway. <laughs> fine, 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 fine. So our first attempt at rendezvous failed, which was to be expected, to be honest. But I think we learned a lot. We learned a lot. Um, let's get the drogues out soon. Maybe around 10 kilometers. It's doing its, its job, it's slowing us down. Got a heat shield to protect us. Maybe I can get the drugs out sooner, actually. Let's see, if we get this surface velocity down below a thousand meters per second, I will use the drugs then. Here we go. Why does only one of the drugs release ever? Why does that one never release? Weird. Okay, we need some power in the country anyway, so. It says it's safe, but they are not deployed. And these ones, it says it's safe. So that deploys at a thousand meters, right? I don't know why the other pressures haven't deployed, but the drogue and the standard pressure should be enough to stop us exploding on impact. Okay, that's fine. I've got to work out why these other pressures aren't deployed. I can't think what it could be. They've not, they've not been destroyed. They are in there. There's a deploy button. Maybe they were unsafe to deploy when I first tried it, and now it's bugged. Maybe. Anyway, we're going to get splashed out, which is also a mission, so that's fine. Uh, we can't do any science yet, but maybe when we land, we can. Let's get a bit closer to the ground, then we'll turn up the time warp. Okay. Very close to the water now. And hey, he survived, so there you go. Semi-successful mission. Here we go. Bang. Right. Great stuff. We did our we did our landing. We could do some science. Uh, I don't think we get anything from doing an EVA, but we will try it. Uh, no. Uh, well. Just double check that. I don't think we can. Run an observation. Nah, nothing to do there. Okay. Board again. And let's recover our vessel. We got quite a lot of science from that, I think. We did, we did quite a few experiments during that trip. Uh, won't show us our research yet, because I think that's not implemented into the game, but that's fine. Let's see. Let's see. Let's go to mission control. We did our splashdown mission. We can turn that in. Submit. Great stuff. Thanks. 40 science is quite a lot, actually. Um, so we've got 50 science total now. We do need to go to the moon. Um, right. But let's let's try and get a successful rendezvous before we do that. Um, although I think we might have to call it here, to be honest. I think. Yeah, I think this is probably a good place to stop for now. But yeah, thanks for watching, everyone. 
um, really appreciate your comments and your feedback and um, let me know what you'd like to see uh, let me know any tips you have um, because I'm just starting out doing this and it would be great to hear uh, what you guys want to watch thanks a lot bye